Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and I'm back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What if Naruto was loved and was blessed by Lady Luck and I hope you enjoy this one because I really thought this up and you know I wanted to make this one for a long time now but I couldn't come up with the name or the you know end of it. So I hope you enjoy this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and as always this is an unscripted movie as well. Now don't worry. Hold your horses, I will be making your ideas, and yeah, a lot of them are quite weird. Some of you want me to turn Naruto into Andrew Tate. Aside from that, some of you want me to, you know, make what if on Issei and high school DXT. I don't know about that, but I will make some of them inside my texting story channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to that channel, then please do. And yeah, stay tuned for a video there as well today because I will be uploading one pretty soon. Now, enough of my yip yipping, I hope you enjoyed today's story, and without any further ado, let's begin. Our story begins with the three-year-old Naruto, as we see him inside his house, the house in which he shared with his siblings and parents. As he was looking out of the window, where he saw that his older sister, Mito, was being trained by their parents, because she was the Jinchuriki of the Kyuubi, no Yoko. A part of it was sealed inside their mother again so that she could live on because she was literally close to death when the biju was ripped out of her. And if it wasn't for their grandmother, Tsunade being there, then, well, let's just say things weren't looking good for her. As suddenly he heard a knock on the door, as the door opened to reveal none other than Tsunade. Hey kid, what are you doing here? All by yourself, cooped up in your room. You know your parents are worried. And on cue, both Minato Kushina and Mito looked at Naruto, who was quite shocked as they smiled at him. Come on downstairs, little brother. Or are you going to just stare at us? See? Why don't we come down and join us? R really? Come on, Naruto. Why do you think that we would not involve you? As Tsunade then grabbed the little boy and picked, her, picked it up in her arms. As... She then walked downstairs into the backyard. As after arriving there, Minato then asked, something with frown on his face, Naruto, why would you think that we would not involve you? How did you... We had a seal connected to each other, in which we can communicate. I heard what you said, Naruto. And I wanted to ask you, son, why do you think that? Because um, you were, you know, talking to me less and less and were busy with Naruto. Your sister has a huge responsibility on her shoulders, and the QB can corrupt her. And we don't want her to go on a rampage and hurt you or anyone else. That is why we are training her and focusing on her more. I apologize, son, if you thought that we were ignoring you. You could have talked to us. I didn't want to bother you. <sighs> son, it's not about that. We were just... Minato? Stop, said Kushina. Uh, yeah, okay. Listen, what your Baka Tochan wa wanted to say is that we're here for you, Naruto. And we're not going to exclude you. You're a part of this family as much as everyone else. Without you, this family is incomplete. So you don't have to hold back, okay? As Naruto nodded. So how about this? We start training Naruto from now on as well. I was thinking about it, but I now I think about it that Minato, you forgot to, well, talk this through to Naruto. Did I? Oh man, I mixed this up with the Kage work again. As Sonata laughed. Really, Gaki? You should focus on your, well, family life more aside from your job. Ah, oh, right, Tochan. Was, well, you know, being a headache and all. What do you mean, Jiraiya was being headache and all? Well, he was sending me decryptive letters about that some organization is about to be formed and that doesn't look good. And that is why, well, I was busy. Hmm. Talk about your thought, John. Where is that idiot? As there was a puff of smoke. Fear not. My dear, Jiraiya the Gallant is here. As suddenly, he was slapped on the face with a shoe. Which was none other than Tsunade. As she had a twitching eyebrow. Where the hell have you been, you idiot? Aw, Mahime is sad that I was gone, huh? But fear not, Mahime. I am back. And back for good. You don't need to worry about anything. As Naruto and Mito chuckled. As his eyebrows wiggled. Huh, pervert. At least have some dignity in front of your own grandchildren. What do you mean by that, Tsunade? I do have dignity. 
and they know how awesome of their grandfather is, right kids? As Mito then yelled, yep, as Naruto nodded. Well, enough of that. Why don't you prepare some lunch for us, Kushina? As Kushina and Tsunade then went inside, as Naruto, Minato and Jirai were left alone, because Mito followed them suit. Hey kiddo, listen, I have been meaning to ask you, and yeah, I know I put it off and didn't give you a birthday present last time but sent it to Mito, I wanted to apologize. Really? Yeah, Naruto, here. This is said to be the pendant of Lady Luck. The one who has it says that we'll have the blessing of Lady Luck and I want you to have it. R really? Yes, Naruto. Really? As he put the necklace around Naruto's, well, neck. As Naruto kept it safe and was happy. As Naruto then went inside, as his mother called. As Jirai then turned towards Minato. As he saw Minato was frowning. You know, Tochan, I think that Naruto thinks that we are excluding him from the family. When Kajan asked him to join us, he said, should he? Hmm, this is something really concerning. But we shouldn't focus on this too much. It is because he might be sad because we're not talking to him much often. At one time, I want him to realize that it is necessary for his sister, but at the same time, I just can't help but feel guilty of what I'm doing to him by pushing him away. I know Minato, but it is for the greater good. The good of the whole Konoha and for herself. Think about it. What if she loses control in her rage like Kushina did that one time and Kyuubi's chakra manifest? Uncontrollable Kyuubi's chakra. This time it will be huge destruction because Kushina was, well, reasoned with at the time, but I don't think Mito will be able to reason. Hmm, you're right, Sensei. Enough of that bullshit now. You're not my student anymore, Minato. <laughs> You're right, though, John. Let's just go inside. As after that, they had their lunch and, well, spent the afternoon training. It was nighttime and Naruto fell asleep. As in his dream, which was usually a black void, he was inside a garden, a beautiful garden, and the sky was, well, ever shining blue. And his family was there for him, and he had a really nice dream. But there was a female there with eight white wings on her back, wearing white clothes that looked so elegant and golden hair. Her eyes were complete white. As she touched Naruto's forehead, as Naruto's whole body was engulfed in white chakra or energy. As next thing Naruto knew, his sister was inside his room waking him up. Wake up, Naruto. You have been asleep for a long time now. What? What time is it? It's 10... A.M. Mother tried to wake you up. We were worried that you were, you know, sick. Oh, I, I'm not sick. I I don't know why. I just slept so long. As Naruto and Mito made it downstairs and saw that their parents were there waiting for them, as they had shurikens and kunais there. All right, kids, today we'll be practicing shuriken and kunai throwing. Naruto, why don't you try first? As... After demonstrating, Naruto was the first one to try, as he picked up a kunai and little to no force threw it, as it bounced on the ground and then went towards the tree, and then, suddenly out of nowhere, it deflected, thanks to the gust of wind of air, and snapped right into the target on Bullseye, as the parents were slack-jawed. Wait, what? How, how did that, that happen? Said Minato. It is as if the... Laws of physics don't apply to that kunai. Minato, you're freaking the kids out, said Kushina. Come on, Mito, why don't you try? As Mito tried, but she landed the kunai on the target, but far away from the bullseye. Ah, maybe next time. Uh, don't worry, Nechan, you will. As Naruto and Mito then went inside. What was that? As unknown to them, Jiraiya and Tsunade were watching this all. As both of them dashed words, Minato and Kushina. What was that? We for sure saw that kunai that Naruto threw did not have enough force and it bounced off from the ground. And not only that, it went towards a tree and suddenly a gust of wind arrived so fast out of nowhere and that kunai hit the bullseye mark. Is that even possible? It's like it is one in a millionth chance that happened, said Jiraiya. But still Jiraiya, that is not possible. How did Naruto do that? 
Hmm, I'll only one way to find out. Azariah had a hunch. Why did that happen? But he needed to be sure, as he brought out some rusty kunais, unknown to everyone. As he called Naruto, Naruto, I want you to throw these kunais out there. But dad, isn't that as Jirash shot, looked at him and silenced him. As Naruto threw all the kunais as they hit it bullseye after bullseye. But Naruto didn't hit those kunais with enough force or accuracy. How is that possible? Said Minato. What? Did, did I do something wrong? No, Naruto. You did everything right, said Jiraiya. Why did you go and believe with Mito, huh? And Sasuke and his twin sister Satsuki are here as well. You know that chick you like? As Naruto blushed. Grandpa! As Naruto dashed inside, as Jiraiya chuckled. <sighs> it's good to tease him. Well, he got serious out of nowhere and looked towards them. Well, I have something to confess to you. Remember Minato the necklace I gave him? Yeah, the one you mentioned, that Lady Luck one, right? You gave him the pendant of the Lady Luck. Really? Yeah. I thought it was a fake one when Gamamaru-sama gave it to me and specifically ordered me to give this to Naruto. Well, turns out it is a real one. You know those pendants have a tendency to turn into a mark of lady luck and, well, become a permanent tattoo on a person. We have to check Naruto. As in the night time after dinner, Naruto went to sleep. They went into his room without him noticing and checked. There was the mark of the lady luck there. As after that, they went downstairs and were now sitting in the living room. Well, it is confirmed. Naruto is blessed by Lady Luck, said Jirai with a smile on his face. Is that safe? <laughs> Kushina, he's blessed by Lady Luck. He is safe, obviously. Well, I'm still, you know, scared. Who isn't? I mean, we were scared when we sent Minato out. Isn't that right? No, we sent him to orphanage because we were too young. And Jira remembered that Sensei told us, well, to not tell him. And you were idiot enough to tell him everything and I have to come clean. As Minato frowned, you were really aiming to not tell me anytime soon, were you? Uh, no, son. As much as I hate this, but yeah, she's right, we weren't. And it was because of my idiocy that it was revealed and we had to dig in. But that doesn't mean we lo didn't love you. We did, and still do. I will continue to do so, said Jiraiya. As Minato smiled. So, should we keep this a secret? Duh, obviously. I mean, think about it. How many people will try to use him for their own gain, especially Danzo? Knowing that now the Lady Luck have chosen a new person as their avatar and guaranteed him the power of luck, anything could happen. Meanwhile, he can become a Kage without even trying anything or could end a war without even lifting a finger. That is how lucky he is. Dang, then we must keep it a secret. From Naruto as well. As time passed by and soon came the time for the children to enter the academy. As Kushina was saddened, as she was crying anime tears, I can't believe my baby boy and my baby girl are going to the academy. Mother, please stop it, it is embarrassing, Naruto said, as he was still a little bit timid and shy. Ah, uh, my little Naruto has grown up so much. If any Hussis try to get close to you, Mito, you know what to do, right? Yes. And Naruto, you know what to do when anyone gets close to your sister, right? Uh, yeah. As after that, both of them went to the academy where they, well, bumped into the Uchiha siblings. Hey, Naruto. Hey, Dobe. Says Sasuke looking at Mito. Hey, Teme. And hey, Sasuke-chan. Hey, Mito. Hey, naruto she said while blushing and looking away, as Naruto was a blushing mess, as Sasuke smirk. Aw, is Naruto a little bit flustered? I wonder why, Sasuke. Why don't you take him to the infirmary? Uh, okay. As Sasuke, who was blushing as well, took Naruto, who was beet red. Heh, <laughs> dope I gotta admit. Your brother is such a fun to tease. To. And, you know what? My whole family like him. They think that both of them make a cute couple. You know what? My parents think so as well. And so do my grandparents. Said me too. But I don't get it. Why are we the one who are tied in a marriage contract and not them? It should obviously be would have been them. Said Sasuke. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to mar marry you, Teme. <laughs> oh, you wish you had something like this? Yeah, I only wish I had something much better. Yeah, Sasuke was blushing and was mad because he was insulted by this dove. 
As after that, when Naruto and, well, Satsuki arrived, they were both blushing and they sat down. After that, they made many friends within the years of the academy and time passed. As the masked person was still a thing inside everyone's mind, even Naruto and Mito know about him and his existence. It was not a hidden truth for everyone. A person who might have stolen a Sharingan or was a rogue Uchiha. And there has been only one rogue Uchiha in the history, Madara Uchiha. And Minato being alive confirmed that the, ma the person claimed to be Madara Uchiha. And they even asked QB for confession and QB agreed to this much. Because it wanted to kill the person who has entrapped him and enslaved him and used him as his own tool for twice in his lifetime. And that person was none other than Madara Uchiha. QB said that it could recognize the Sharingan everywhere. Now the elders were more than ever concerned because if Madara was really alive out there, then he might be out to get them again. And so was the Uchiha clan because they knew that Madara will have his revenge on them. Last time when the Madara arrived back, both times the village was leveled and decimated. And it was thanks to QB. First time he was dealt with Hashirama-sama, but second time, well, Minato was there and was able to seal away the QB within his daughter and his wife again, who were seen as the heroes of the village. But what will happen the next time? Will there ever be a next time? Many of them were wondering, and that thought, lingering in their mind, alone was enough to, well, cause them to go into action because it was Madara Uchiha who were they talking about. Aside from that, Men, Mito and Naruto had made many friends such as Shikamaru, Choji, Ino Yamanaka, Sakura Haruno, and Kiba and Izuka, and even Neji from a year above them, Tenten and Rock Lee. All of them were friends and would hang out usually, as they were currently hanging out as all of them were talking while Naruto as well as Satsuki and Hinata were away. As Hinata had Naruto wrapped around in one arm, on the other arm was Satsuki, as both were glaring at each other as Naruto was a blushing mess. As Neji then said, I can't believe I'm saying this, Uchiha, but you really are right. Hinata-sama has never shown such determination before. And Uzumaki, why is it that your brother is a blushing mess everywhere? Aside from these two, he's cool, but when it comes to these two, he's a blushing mess. Why is that? Ah, obviously Neji, he, it's because he likes them. Uh, isn't he a little bit greedy then? Said Ino, teasingly. I guess he is, Mito said, like me and my mother. And we Uzumakis don't care. And mother did say that Uzumaki males have huge amount of stamina and would even tire out the female Uzumakis, as many of them blushed after hearing that. See, Teme? If you are going to marry me, you have to deal with my stamina. You, are you sure you can keep up as Sasuke blush? You, you, you damn vile woman, dope. Shut up. We're still kids. Yeah, 13. Duh, and we're graduating next month and becoming Ganon, which will turn us into adults. Then what? <sighs> Father and mother has arranged for another marriage. Well, so has Yashi-sama and Hitomi-sama. Really? Yes, it is Naruto and Hinata-sama. Well, it is Naruto and Satsuki, says Sasuke, as both Neji and Sasuke look at each other. Oh boy, let's just hope that it, they don't start a war, Jiha. Same you think could be said from here, Yuga. I don't want to fight you and wipe the floor with you. <laughs> Your own damn retard, Jiha. So much for you, pale eyes. As time skip, we go towards... Um, Hokage office after two months of the graduation and team placement. Currently, they were doing DRAC missions. As teams were as follow Naruto was, well, taken under the wing of Tsunade because he wanted to learn medical ninjutsu as well as become strong as her. So, Tsunade was more than happy to train her grandchild. As for Mito, she was taken in by none other than Jiraiya. While Sai filled in the spot of Team 7 with Sakura and Sasuke. As for Satsuki, she was personally apprenticed by Itachi himself alongside with Shisui because she had awoken her Sharingan. 
and was quite proficient with it. And Sasuke was all for it because he loved his sister and she was making progress much faster than him. So he kept motivated and asked Kakashi for his help and Kakashi delivered. He helped him reach the three Toma Sharingan much faster than Sasuke and now they were Ganon. As we go towards their parents and all of them inside Hokage office and talking to each other currently. <sighs> Our children have grown up just fine, said Kushina as Mikoto and the rest of the clan head's wife nodded. So, what is it you wanted to talk about, Fugaku? You as well, um, Yashi. As both of them slapped a uh, paper on his desk. Marriage contracts? Naruto Uzumaki, Hinata Yuga. Naruto Uzumaki and... Sasuke Uchiha? Well, he is the last heir to the both Uzumaki and Amekaze clan. So we thought, yep, agreed, said Jiraiya, as he jumped from within the window, as Tsunade, who arrived here, as she had left Naruto to heal a fish, had an twitching eyebrow. How dare you decide that on your own, Jiraiya? Hey, I'm an elder of the house, and so am I. Ah, uh, fine, what do you think? Hmm. I guess both of them can have my grandson, as long as they share and be loyal to him. Thank you, Sinari-sama. Everyone knew that messing with Sinari was, well, like messing with a rhino who is out of control and could literally destroy you with a single fist of her own. So, they were happy that she was on their side. Really? What about Naruto? Well, he seems fine. Mordor says that he's a blushing mess whenever he's around either of them. <sighs> Isn't he a greedy boy? I remember from where he gets it, as Sonata looked at Jiraiya while Minato looked towards Kushina, as both of them looked away. As Mikoto giggled, Ah, oh, Kushi-chan, you got caught. Mikoto, really? You too as well? Hey, I'm just joking, right? As suddenly Naruto busted into the door, with a fish that was wobbling in his hands. Grandma, I did it! As everyone gasped. As Naruto then felt embarrassed, oh, uh, sorry, as the fish slipped and was smacked on None other than Chicago's face, who was dozing off. Ah, damn it, you brat. Why did you brought the fish here? Just throw it in water or something. No, that's going to be our lunch, said Kushina. As Kushina picked up the fish and literally strangled it before taking it back to gut it. As everyone felt chills drawn on their spine. Damn, Minato. You gotta calm her down. Well, I don't know why, but she seems pissed. Well, good luck, Minato, says Tsunade and Jiraiya. But why? Because we're not going to be home. We're going out on a dinner night. And you and the kids will be alone. Oh boy. As Fugaku then said, <clears throat> Minato. Oh, yeah, sorry Fugaku. So, do you agree with this? Alright. Naruto Namikaze vs Sasuke Uchiha wedding as well as Naruto Uzumaki vs Hinata Yuga. How about this? Good. Good enough for both of us. And the alliance was formed. Later at home, when, well, they told their daughters, they were squealing with delight and literally passed out with blushing. As the news spread out like wildfire, as currently, after one more month of D-rank missions and their apprenticeships, we see all of them sitting in Akamichi's grill room, where all of them gathered, as the senses were on another booth and the Ganons were on another booth. As all of them were gathered, as Naruto was the center of attention, who was a blushing mess, and Satsuki and Hinata had a blush hue on their face, as Mito was teasing them the most alongside with Ino and Sakura. Uh, who knew that Naruto would be the first one to get married out of all of our group alongside with Hinata and Satsuki? As Sasuke then said, I did. So did Mito. Oi, Teme, stop following everything I say. Well, talk about you two. You two are the second group, said Neji, teasing everyone as he smiled. As both of them blushed as well, hmm, in dreams, like I will marry this dope. Same could be said about you, Teme. I don't think you can keep up with the little thing dangling in your legs. As almost everyone gasped and bursted out laughing while Sasuke was furious at, as well as blushing as well. Because deep down he knew that he liked this dope in front of him. And say it could be said, same could be said for, well, Mito, but she had to keep it hidden in this uptight persona of hers. As after that, we go towards the booth of the senseis where Kakashi 
and everyone else heard the commotion as uncle then said what got what's got it into them and what's this going on about them and marriage as Cornet was groaning oh, our students are getting married while we are still single uncle as Osama then took this chance as guy elbowed him oh yeah Kurnai um, I think it is time that we you know move our relationship past the girlfriend boyfriend phase what we have already moved past that you know uh, no not like that you know as he brought out her ring as she guessed are you are you serious yes as she hugged him in front of everyone and was squealing in delight obviously yes you idiot as uncle then said great now, I'm now I am the only one alone as she looked at Iruga, who was now backing away. Oh, where do you think you're going? Buy a ring? Iruka said, with a smile as he was sweating. Cool, let's go together. As Kakashi then said, Ha, huh. ah, young love. Well, talking about young love, my rival. What do you say we... No, that's gay. But it is a hot bat. We can share. No, not going to happen, guy. Hm. You have no sense of humor, my eternal rival. Ugh, I do have humor, guy, but just not at your level, at least. Why don't you go run around the whole village on just two fingers? Hmm, nice. You, as guy dashed away. Oi, all of you are gone and now you pin me with the bill again. Damn it! Me and my big mouth, said Kakashi as he paid the bill again for the whole of his teammates as last one was Genma hey <laughs> serves you right Kakashi you were the one who gave guy the idea we all thought that we were going to dump him with the bill this time because he always evade paying the bill but it seems your luck has run out again as Genma was gone again as Kakashi paid the bill and ground as students paid their own share as they left in Naruto's house we see him sleeping again and having a dream this time around, he saw that the Lady Luck has arrived again and was there to greet him. But this time she speak, My avatar, my beloved Naruto, you have been granted with my power, my child, and you will live a happy life. This is your reward, your reward that you desired. As Naruto's eyes wipe, what kind of reward? As Lady Luck then chuckled, hmm, that is for me to know and for you to just enjoy and forget about. As Naruto face faulted, really? As she giggled, yes, now go. As Naruto disappeared, as she had a sad smile, as tears ran down. As the Lady Luck changed, it turned out she was a grown-up Hinata, but she still had wings. As Kushina and Minato with wings arrived there, do you think it is good? Yes. Let him live here in this world that we created for him. He deserves this. After all the trials he had to face and hardships he had to endure. This is the last time. I just wanted to see him smile and how he was doing. You have to move on, Hinata. Naruto, his soul was destroyed. I can't move on. That is why I killed Lady Luck to stole her power and became her. And that is why I gave Naruto what he wanted. But I'm still mad that Satsuki got involved. I don't know why. As Sakura then arrived, it may be because Sasuke, even though I hate to admit it, has some sort of love to Naruto and it gave birth to Satsuki, turning into another form of love. I guess you're right, Sakura. I guess you're right. As after all that, all of them disappeared. As the old dream vanished, as Naruto got up, as he gasped, what was that? As he looked down on his mark that was there, it was a Lady Lux mark, as it disappeared as well. As he took out a kunai and he aimed at the backyard of where, the still, where still the target was placed, he threw it lazily as it bounced off. In the air as a gust of wind arrived again and hit it, it hit it in the bullseye i still have that power but why why did it all change as naruto was still in shock but he didn't remember the verse 
you should not pray into this. Enjoy the life. I snarled her, then thought about it and just smiled. I guess I will. Thank you. Um, Hinata. Everyone. Naruto said to practically no one. As after that, he went towards Tsunade to be trained. While this was going on, we go towards the Akatsuki base, where the all Akatsukis were gathered. So, as planned, two weeks from now, Konoha is going to host the tuning exams. In those tuning exams, each and every Biju will be participating. Or some of them will be there as senseis, or just entourage. A big chance for us to just invade and snatch all the Bijus in one go. It will be like killing nine stones with nine birds with one stone. And with this weapon, nobody will stand a chance against us. His, the figure said, as all, all of them looked towards their ring. It was a disintegrator that disintegrated anyone standing in their way. As the other then asked, Are you sure that this is the last line of defense? It is that much trustworthy? Yes, it is. Said a deep voice from a masked person. I am the one who created this. It will work. You don't have to worry about that. Okay then, cheese. Two weeks later, we go towards Konoha as the whole group has made their way there and the tuning exams were being carried out as planned until a figure started to float in the air as the match halted as a voice boomed. This world has caused suffering and nothing else. Today is the day of liberation. The rise of the new phoenix, a new world, a new order in which Chakra will not be included. But before that, everyone must feel pain. No pain. So, that is why I'm here. Shinra Tensei. As a huge amount of pressure, invisible force, something like that appeared. Devastating, leveling the whole village. Nothing but now turn into a crater. As the person floated down. As the damaged village and some of those survivors were devastated, looked at one another with tears. Naruto and his family and everyone he loved was okay, thanks to his love and luck. As Naruto, Mito and everyone arrived at the battlefield, and so did many of the Jinchurikis. As the Bijus somehow were now communicating, and were now in their avatar state. Much to the shock of their Jinchurikis, and they were battling out the uh, Akatsuki forces. As Dryden said, the Akatsuki, I knew they were up to no good. Is that the organization that you were talking about, father? The same one, my son. We have to deal with them at all cost. As Akatsuki were being pushed back. Some of them were already dead. And suddenly, all of them started to glow their rings. As Zetsu chuckled. And suddenly, up in the moon, we see every other Otsutsuki being tied up as Kaguya was sitting on her throne, but much weaker. As each and every Otsutsuki turned into a huge chakra food that she consumed and used their chakra forces to just arrive there. As all the cards you know, lay dead on the ground, as Kaguya was there now. <laughs> I am finally free, Zetsu, my child. You have done your duty well. As mother has taught you. Thank you, mother. But now there is no more use for you. As Zetsu's eyes widened. As he started to disappear as well. Hi, mother. As he disappeared. As with a single snap. Everyone was locked away. Except for Naruto. Because he was lucky enough to dodge that. As Naruto was weak. He had to fight. He did. But he lost. And Kaguya then said. Hmm. If I can seal you away. You will live in this world that I shall rule. You will watch them live their best lives until they, can be, they will be ready and be prepared into food. What are you talking about? Chakra force takes time to harvest and prepare. My guess is five years. <laughs> within, within these five years, you will be my source of entertainment, little one. Now go along. Train. And once again we will fight. And that is what Naruto did. Trained harder 
Stronger. He wanted to save everyone. Sotsky. Hinata. His Gajan. Dojan. His sister. His friends. His villagers. He was alone in this world. He realized that after one month of traveling, he was scared. How could he fought a court like goddess like that? But he had to. As part of each Bijus chakra was lashed onto him and was guiding him. That is until he, well, descended upon a statue of the Lady Luck. As he prayed to her, please, Lady Luck Sama, grant me enough power to defeat that demoness. I have to end this, but I don't know how. I'm weak. As Naruto then noticed that he, there was a surge of warmness across his body. And then he looked back to see that he had huge wings, which was white, just like the Lady Luck. As he got up and flew into the air, as two swords formed in his hands, as he charged towards Kagi, as her eyes wide. How did you achieve such power? As she was able to defeat Naruto yet again, but Naruto had damaged her. Her one arm was cut off. She was scarred. She needed to wait though. She knew that next time that she will encounter Naruto, it will be a full out battle. But that is why she wanted to wait. Because she was arrogant and wanted to crush this man's, no, this insect's last hope when he is at full prime of his power. Knowing that he couldn't save anyone, he couldn't do anything. After putting all the blame and shame on him, then he will have her permission to die. At least that is what she thought. Nard on the other hand was panting as he was still on the ground before he was stripped away, disappearing altogether. Skagia returned back to heal herself. As he woke up, he was still inside the dream, where instead of Lady Luck, he saw Hinata, a grown-up one, and everyone else, who looked at him with sadness. Y y what, what are you doing here? You Wait, you're from my dream. Yes, Naruto, we are from your dream. We wanted you to live a happy life, but it seems that the fates have other plans for you. It is your fate to have some suffering. We did not want any suffering to befall on you. We wanted you to be loved and to be taken care of and live your life to the fullest. But it seems you wouldn't know suffering otherwise. That is why the face chose some bit of suffering to you. But it was too extreme for you, I guess. Listen up, Naruto. You need to defeat her to save this world or you alongside that world will perish. I will. But how? As all of them gave their chakra to Naruto, even Hinata before disappearing, as she turned into his Hinata and kissed him. You have to defeat him, my love, before she disappeared as well. As Naruto could see the tears in her eyes. As Naruto could feel that, it was not a just goodbye of one sort. It was the goodbye that when a person dies says it. Is she? Yes, kid. A voice said it was Kurama. As Naruto looked at him, Kyubi? Kurama? How, how do you I know your name? Your memories. Memories of my partner, who I sacrificed my life for, fighting against Ishiki. That is why you know my name. You have been given each and every one's of chakra, alongside your alternative self's chakra, or memories at least. And you will have mine as well again. Use the body and mode once more and defeat her once and for all. Naruto, what happened to them? Their soul disappeared, like yours did when you saved them. As Naruto fell tears running down his cheek as he couldn't stop them no matter what he did. As he nodded, I will. I will not let them die in vain. I will avenge them. You don't need to avenge them. You need to protect your own people. They were not yours to begin with. But they cared. They cared about you because you deserved it, Naruto. You have sacrificed so much for everyone. 
even me. And that is why we were here to repay you. We knew what were the cost going to be. And we are more than willing to pay for it. For you to live this life that you always wished you had. As QB started to disappear, as QB put a fist forward, as Naruto fist bumped it. <laughs> now go, brat. Beat the shit out of that damn old bitch. And with that, Krama disappeared. As Naruto then saw that, his whole body was glowing. And he was in a state. It was called the Barrigan mode. At least that is what he remembered. As he was suddenly feeling so much powerful that he jumped into the air. As back in Kaguya's mansion, which was known as previously the Hokage Monument, in her throne room, Naruto landed. I will take care of this. Once and for all, Kaguya, he said. As Kaguya's eyes were widened. How? Oh. As she knew that she was at a huge loss now. No matter what tactic she used, Naruto literally beat the shit out of her. And this time around, killed her. Before the seal mark of her karma seal could appear, Naruto destroyed it, overcharging it. And she was gone for good. Even her soul was destroyed. Naruto undid the infest Tsukiyomi before the help of the sage who arrived there to lend him a hand. And the infest Tsukiyomi was undone. And everyone was freed as they all saw Naruto in this state. With Kurama, or Kyubi of this timeline, his eyes widened. That chakra. It's... It's mine. That state. But... But why would I... As the... Baryan mode disappeared. As Naruto felt tears run down his cheeks as he looked up in the sky. And for a moment he could swore that he had seen everyone smiling down upon him. As he smiled and looked up in the air again. Thank you. I promise you all that I will protect you this time. All of you. As he then walked towards his family, who were happy to see him. No, everyone was. The village's leaders from other villages were so happy and were thankful to him that they formed alliance with Konoha and were more than ready to ally with, well, aid them if they ever needed and set aside their differences as well. And not only that, Konoha was rebuilt with the help of them showing a form of their alliances and letting go of their hatred for one another. Hence the shinobi allied nations were formed, and the pillars were Konoha Gakure and the rest of the elemental nations. The minor villages joined in this allied nation's forces, as there was a council, council of the leaders, and that is how the supreme council was formed. And the justice were carried out there. And Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze was hailed as a hero of all five elemental nations. Because they knew within that jutsu one year has passed. As Naruto has grown up one year. And was now at the same age as Mito. Because Mito was one year older than Naruto. As now we see that. Much time has passed as Naruto was at the age of 20 and he has married to both the love of his lives. And now all he was doing was resting and enjoying his life. He was offered many positions, the position of the high council seat. Which he took because, well, why wouldn't he? His job was nothing more than just carry out justice. And the way he did, well, won many people's heart as well. As... Many of those who sacrificed themselves to give Naruto the life he deserved were happy with this. As this was his story. The life of Naruto, who was loved and blessed by the Lady Luck. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this off. I hope you like this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchi.